Hello, welcome back again to my City Builder channel here on YouTube. I'm Ben and today I will show you how to overlay your existing maps easily with realistic street maps from Google Maps or any other service. There are a couple of things again that you will need for finishing this process. Uh, the first thing is using your image editing program of your choice. Um, the most important thing about it is that it offers the ability to use layers. In my case, I'm using Adobe Photoshop and later on during the process, you will need a mod called the Overlayer 2 mod for CD Skylines. It's free available at your Steam account and you can easily download it there. And I will also include a link in the description below. So just have a look at it in case you missed something. So coming from my previous tutorial, you know where we ended up with. It was a Photoshop file that looked something similar like this here. Um, so we still have that in place. We still have our screenshot that we took from the website of terrain.party, which is the service that allows you to download realistic height maps from, I think, every location all around the world for free. So no problem to use that. And yeah, from here, I'm just opening up a browser window. I already loaded Google Maps um, just to make sure that I'm finding the right location and I'm zooming in on the location that I previously used for my last tutorial where I showed you how to download and use this realistic height map. So you can see we have the area of Kushimoto in Japan. This is the island here and we have it right in the middle. So we are now taking a screenshot of your of our Google Maps um, thing of the main island, the little island here. And I'm importing it to Photoshop and by the way, at that time, it's important that you do not change this zoom level here within Google Maps because we have to remember the scaling factor that we are trying to find out now in Adobe Photoshop or a later time. So what I'm doing right now, I pasted in the screenshot. I set the layer setting to multiply just to make sure that I get a nice and good overlay. And in that case, um, I'm trying to match the roads as best as possible to my existing screenshot from Terrain Party. The roads are the more important thing here actually because um, the terrain, as you can see, it varies on the zoom level you're using on Google Maps, or it gets more detailed or less detailed. So you can't use that for orientation, but I think I got a pretty good match here already. And now I'm, I have to remember the scaling factor of 57 six six is it six six I have to remember that for the next process so what you can do is just paste it in here fifty seven point six eight so um, I think I <laughs> need to check my my glasses. <laughs> 57.68 is my scaling factor and what I'm doing now is I 
you can drag back. one of these chord progressions in. That's cold. Yeah, we using this one. We using this one. All right, let's get to it. So we just drag it in. Easy as that. I'm so what I'm doing now is going back to Firefox. In that case, back to Google Maps. Moving the map a bit. And again, take care that you're not changing the zoom level. Taking another screenshot of that area here. I switch to Adobe Photoshop, paste that layer in, change my zoom factor to 57.68, confirm it, set the layer just for that quickly to multiply because for me I think this is the best option how you get these layers aligned the best way and the safest way just to make sure that the explanations within the map are properly aligned yeah and what you basically do is now you fill up this whole land area because this is the only important part because there are the roads there are the streets here are the buildings and everything else so i will continue with that and fast forward to make sure that you're not waiting too long <laughs> Having finished this process, now you can zoom out, have a look, check whether you covered all the land areas here. Looking good in that case. I'm deleting my little cheat layer <laughs> here with the scaling factor. And what I'm doing now, I merge all the layers of my imported roads from Google Map services, I deactivate the layer that came from Terrain Party and I also deactivate the background. And now follows a very important step which is to change the opacity of the map overlay. I usually change it to something between 25 and 30, 35 maybe. So just use that and export your image and here comes another important part set the file type to png24 and leave on the checkbox here a transparency and just save it as a new file on your hard drive then your already done in Adobe Photoshop. You can close the program, you can also close Google Maps. And now I just pick up the file that I just created, the PNG file. I go to my City Skylines folder. Yours might be located a little bit different because I'm saving all my games on a secondary hard drive. Mm, so I go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, City Skylines, Files. And then I have to rename an existing overlay map, which comes from a different project. I paste my recently created file in there and rename this one to just overlay.png all written in small letters and then 
you can start up City Skylines. Back again in City Skylines. It's time to open up the map editor with the map you created in your previous tutorial following my previous tutorial. Now as the height map has loaded you see this exclamation mark here on top and as soon as you press it takes a little while but City Skyline will overlay your existing map with the street map we previously created a couple of minutes ago. So from here I think we're good to go. You can change the landscaping thing, you can redo a couple of details that didn't work out that fine. Mm. Yeah, so I think this is a really good start and a really good place to begin with, rebuilding a realistic city and city skylines. Well, have fun and thanks for tuning in again. Hope to see you soon in my channel. Bye-bye.